This is the book I would have given to my younger self before having a job. And not because I found all of the advice applicable or profound, but because it is such an all out, somewhat extreme approach to finances that if I would have attempted even half of the advice in this book, it would have had an impact on my finances today. Hey everyone, welcome to Cash Clarity, where we teach you how to use money to get what you want. Today I am summarizing Set for Life, an all out approach to early financial freedom by Scott Trench. When Trench says that this is an all out approach, he is not exaggerating. Takeaway one, the stages that Trench spells out for someone to aim for on the way to financial freedom are a great way to break down an intimidating goal. Those stages are one, cash flow negative. This is where most people start. They have income, but there is more money leaving than there is coming in. This leads to debt. Step two, cash flow neutral. This is the stage where you spend what you make, but you are out of debt and living within your means. And step three, cash flow positive. This is where you have an emergency fund, you are starting to save, and you are ready for the next stages on your way to becoming financially independent. Those stages are zero through 25,000, 25,000 to 100,000, and 100,000 to early retirement. Takeaway two, work hard, spend as little as possible, and invest the difference. This is Trench's all out approach and here is his logic for it. Lifestyle design that pushes frugality has a faster, higher ROI than increasing your income for immediate change. I love the point that he makes. A penny saved is not a penny earned. It's actually 1.33 pennies earned. Takeaway number three. Trench acknowledges that this book is not for everyone. He understands that some people won't be able to adhere to his extreme plan. But he says that for those that do follow it, you must love freedom to pursue frugality. A common argument against pursuing early retirement is the person saying, I don't know what I would do if I were retired or something to that effect. Trench's response, you don't need to know what you're going to do when you retire to pursue financial freedom. It's okay to just love freedom enough as the goal and have no clue what you're going to do. I agree with Trench on this. It's better to achieve freedom and then figure it out rather than figure out what you want to do but have no way to achieve the freedom to get it. Okay, you know that saying, aim for the stars because if you don't make it, at least you'll land on the moon? Well, this book is kind of like that. Is everyone going to follow Trench's all out approach to early retirement? No, but if most people even just apply 10% of what he suggests to their personal finance, they would be in a much better place. From tracking your dollars, to getting out of debt, being frugal for the sole purpose of accomplishing something bigger and better, it is all here. Overall, I think that this is a fine book with basic advice for people in their 20s with a solid income who don't live in a big city. It is a very real estate focus and counts on buying duplexes and house hacking, which isn't available to many people and not everyone wants to be a landlord. It doesn't really talk about all the downsides of this. He also suggests lowering all expenses to $1,500 a month, which isn't possible for a majority of people in 2024. It's not a bad book or anything, it just seems outdated and out of touch with the reality that most people live in these days, even though the edition that I read was published in 2022. The author is a CEO of a real estate investing company, so the book basically feeds that funnel. I'd love to hear if you check out this book. Is there another book that you'd like me to review? Comment and let me know. With love, Cash Clarity.